I'm heading to Kun Tong to have lunch with a friend. Normally we won't go out for lunch during the pandemic, but today is special because we received an invitation from two young passionate chefs and they invited us to try their menu at their pop-up restaurant in Kun Tong. I'm gonna show you the food and I hope you can give them a chance to show you their culinary talents. I'll leave all the information in the info box so you can refer to it if you're interested. So this is our very first dish. It's a lobster tata appetizer. So it's a very refreshing dish that we um, so feed the lobster so that we make sure it's not overcooked. It's more of like a medium, medium well. Caviar dish. Um, we top this with um, caviar from France, and then um, this caviar is actually uh, the designated brand of um, a restaurant Hobbes Okay, so this is a uh, foie gras terrine, and then uh, we have some raspberry and blueberry sauce, so some cracker so to get a punch. In this. Actually, uh, choose this because um, it, it's very local. Uh, it represents Hong Kong, and uh, also it's from my upbringing that my mom always cooked uh, uh, this fish at home. This your beef dish. Thank you. Um, this is a very special dish uh, because of the ingredients: shallot beef from um, uh, France. Mm. It's actually a soupy egg, and then we top that with sugar and. Then, uh, Burned by crampoline, and it should be crispy uh, on the outside. And then uh, outside there uh, is the puff pastry. In case you're wondering what we bought at the store just now, it is a diatomaceous earth bathroom mat. It's hard, it absorbs water very quickly. So we keep it in the bathroom next to the shower. Yeah, so I think it's really cool.
าปันต้าใจีตาอีตับเจ้าใช่ไหมใช่ไหมก็เจอเขาแคสตอล่ะเออมีสายอยู่ด้วยUp my Chanel skirt from the alteration shop. They did a great job. 480 Hong Kong, about 65 US to size down the skirt by two sizes. So now I need to buy one ingredient that I'm missing to make drunken chicken. It's like a sauce, and without that sauce, I don't think I can make it. But I've already cooked the chicken, so like the chicken wings. So I, I really need. Need to find the sauce, and um, I tried the supermarket. I couldn't find the sauce, so I'll see if one of these shops has it. Hello. 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 chicken wings this morning and now I should have all the ingredients I need to make this drunken chicken wings this is what I got from the store just now it's superior pickle sauce I need a lot of this and a little bit of Chinese cooking wine and this is Chinese rose wine fish sauce and sugar okay let me bring out the recipe and my measuring cup okay let's make the sauce first i need 250 ml of pickled sauce okay. and then 60 ml of Chinese cooking wine a little bit more maybe Tablespoon of fish sauce, three tablespoons of sugar. This is raw cane sugar. That's why it's brown. One tablespoon of rose wine, Chinese rose wine. Then 50 ml 
water. So altogether I should have about 400 ml of sauce. I'll try to push the chicken wings into the sauce. I don't think I can have everything submerged. So I'll just try my best. the drunken chicken wings and we both thought that they weren't drunk enough so next time I make it I will put more Chinese cooking wine also the color was too pale they kind of look like raw chicken so we're gonna put more dark soy to make it look more cooked flavor wise it's fine um, yeah, I just need more wine and I don't need more salt and uh, yeah, and then the dark soy is just going to add color so it's not going to make it too salty. So I'm going to put the modified recipe in the info box. Give it a try if you're interested. You can also put eggs and what else? Ah, oh, abalone, you know, the fresh ones with shells. Uh, but then of course you take out the shell and, and uh, just put the, the abalone in. Yeah, I've seen people do that. So, oh, also, please check out Enchanté's Instagram account. And if you live in Hong Kong, consider going to their pop-up restaurant. You can contact them directly for price and reservation. Yeah, so I'm going to end this vlog now and I'm going to walk home. Let me cross the street first. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time watching my video, please consider subscribing to my channel and switch on the notifications so that the next time I upload, you'll be notified. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.